Okay, I'm going to do a little bit on Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Let's see, where were we? We went through the same destiny overtakes everyone. Everyone dies. Every animal dies. Everything dies. Flowers die. Except those who are going to be raptured in the next few years, the church will not die. You will be taken right off the earth. In the twinkling of an eye. Verse 5, for the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. Well, that's not necessarily true. I don't want to sound like I'm contradicting the Bible. So I'm not contradicting the Bible. When they say that the dead know nothing, I believe they're talking about they're no longer on earth. There is no such thing as soul sleep. Your body is in the grave or in the ocean, wherever you died. Wherever you were buried. Even if you were cremated and put into the ocean, it doesn't matter. The ocean will naturally cremate you itself. You know, I'm going to um, say something here. The person I feel sorry, the most sorry for on earth. And I see it a lot at the ocean overlooks. And, and I noticed age doesn't matter. 20 years old, 80 years old. The person... You can tell they got a nice car, they got out of their car, they're dressed nice, they got some money. And they go up and they're completely silent. That's what happens when you give a crow a french fry. <laughs> Becomes your best friend. So they walk up and they're looking at the ocean. I just saw this, that's why I was reminded. They, they mentally are asphyxiated on the ocean. It's like when you go to um, the Rocky Mountains and you're, you've are you never seen them and you're asphyxiated on them. You're, you stand in awe. But then something happens. The guy breaks. This usually happens with men. I rarely see it happen with women. This is a man thing, man problem. The man is standing there. He forgot about his wife, his kids, his car, his house. For five minutes, he's completely at peace and doesn't want to leave. He's looking at the ocean saying, Honey, go back and sell everything and we'll, we'll just live here somewhere. And I say I feel sorry for them because they know... These men, they know exactly what they need to fill their soul up. And then realization, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, they stand there. And the wife always walks up to them and, and touches their arm and says, Honey, are you ready to go? And, and the guy is snapped back to reality. And he's like, yeah, okay. Let's drive back to Idaho or let's drive back to Iowa. There's nothing worse than having a taste of your dreams. Now, I just saw a young couple sh show up, 25 years old. And they were staring at the surfer, the people on the surfboards down below. And you could tell, oh, I could tell with wisdom, this guy... 
Look at this sparrow. That sparrow's better off than most humans. I could tell that this guy wanted to be one of those surfer guys down there on a, on a surfboard floating along on the water and hitting the waves. You could tell when he was looking at him, he was in another world in his mind. And his girlfriend or wife, I don't know, she got back in the car and he stood there for like eight more minutes staring down thinking, that should be me down there. Because people settle, and I'm saying there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse on this earth than getting a small taste of your dream. Oh, my goodness gracious. You want to move to the ocean and live a whole different life, but you, you've been here one or two times, and you have to go back to Idaho all the way back and work at your crappy job. But your heart is in the ocean on the Oregon coast. Why am I bringing this up? Because it goes right along with this verse. The dead know nothing. The living know that we will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward and even their name is forgotten. Their love, their hate, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again will they have a part in anything that is under the sun. That is 100% true until the 1,000-year reign. If you're a Christian believer, you get to serve with Christ during the 1,000 years. If you do not believe in Christ, you get to um, you go to hell. Then you're taken out at judgment day and judged and sent back into hell. How horribly sad! I had to stop the video there. It happened right in front of me just as I was making this video. A 30-year-old guy walks up there. Completely amazed, standing in awe of everything, doesn't want to leave. His girlfriend gets out, dyed hair, $300 set of fingernails, you know, fake fingernails. And she yanks on his um, jacket and about six minutes later they leave. Here's what it means. The dead people, your soul goes to hell or your soul goes to heaven. During the rapture, the souls of those in heaven who were buried, you your, your body gets taken out of the grave and made new right again in front of you. And at the same time, just a split second later, those still alive on the earth, their body and soul get taken up to heaven for the first time. The church, the rapture of the church that's still living. There's a good view for you. I had to move because the tourists were finding my hiding spot. <laughs> That's okay. God bless everybody. People are more important than... Um... All right, so... Well, wait a minute. I'm trying to think of something people are more important than. <laughs> now, that wasn't nice. I want to tell you a side note here. Well, actually, I'll make a video on it later. I'll make a video on this later. It's about junk foods and why we eat them. I've been doing a lot of research on this lately. And it's something that um, 
Those who manufacture food in America do not want you to know. All right, let me finish this up. So I explained the rapture to you, and then the seven-year tribulation. Then the 1,000, then the return of Christ is the second coming during the Battle of Armageddon. Then the 1,000-year reign of Christ. Then the new heaven comes down to the new earth. But that is when everybody is taken out of hell and everybody is taken out of heaven and we are all judged. Those who lived outside of Christ will be judged for their rejection of faith towards Christ and they will spend eternity in hell with the devil in the lake of fire. Burning sulfur, whatever you want to call it. Those who believed in Christ and spent the thousand years reigning with Christ we will also be judged, but we will be given gifts according to what we have done in our life. Okay, so when you die, what it means is the dead know nothing. Well, it means, let me take a different approach to this. Earth, you see, the more I talk, the more you should be understanding. Earth is a great gift that God gave us. It's part of his 7,000-year um, plan. Makes sense to me. It's been 6,000 years. It's going to be a 1,000-year reign of Christ. Approximately 7,000 years. Seven, he made the earth in six days and rested on the seventh. He's going to take care of everything in seven days, 7,000 years. It's all the same to God. When you're God and you have eternity, you're not worried about 7,000 years. That's just the beginning. God hasn't even left the house yet. He's still putting on his shoes. I'm just giving you an example of, you know, God, how God thinks of time. But at the same time, God is in charge of every single thing and everything we receive or don't receive. And because we went through the whole book of Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything, times and times and times. God is in charge of all those times. And when you're dead, your soul is in hell, knowing really nothing about the earth. You're in torment. When you're dead, your soul is either in heaven, and you're, I don't think people in heaven are staring at earth. I think they're staring at Jesus in heaven. I think they're so, it's kind of like seeing the ocean or the um, Grand Tetons in Yellowstone National Park for the first time. You can't stop looking at them. It's like, whoa. The same thing with God. When you see Jesus up there, you will not be able to stop looking at him. People say, well, uh, what are we going to do in heaven? Well, the first 10,000 years, you're probably going to be staring at the Lord. You won't be able to stop. You'll just keep staring at him. You've never seen anything like this. So glorious, so perfect, so beautiful. So much love pouring out the light. It's like it's perfect and pure. You, it's just flowing out of him and through you and everywhere. And you can touch it and feel it. And There's all the colors in heaven because I know there's colors in heaven because it says the um, 12 walls will be a different rock. One will be amethyst. I can't remember. I have to go through them. But one's going to be um, agate, uh, juniper, carnelian, jasper. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's going to be amazing. And, and Jesus is going to be happy and smiling. And we went through the seven-year—I'm sorry. We went through the— um, 
the the week long um, wedding banquet. And there's rejoicing, and we'll all love each other. That's what it says. When you leave the earth, you don't know, the dead don't know what's going on on the earth. You left the earth. You died. Well, I was listening to a preacher coming up here today. This guy was talking about how we are on the last, we are on the cuff of the very last days. He said, and if you're not fully alert and prepared and waiting for what's coming, he says, you are just far behind. You're, or, but I would say you're just stuck in this world. You're just completely stuck down here.